Well, uh, thank, uh, I want to thank everyone for turning up in, uh, in person for this, uh, as well as uh, if you're recording it later, then, uh, you know, this will be, or watching this later. Uh, again, that's obviously always an option for lots of people as well, given I know everyone's busy. And we're trying to cover a lot of time zones from the UK through to the, uh, uh, the United Kingdom in the UK, all the way across to the West Coast uh, of America. So it's my great honor and pleasure to introduce uh, Dr. Polina. Or not doctor, but Paulina Petrasevic. Um, she's worked with me for over eight years now uh, and has been a, a shining light in driving her business forward. Uh, and as, as, as I was talking to her before, she's one of the rare people that I've come across who a lot of us struggle to kind of control one business. She manages, manages to kind of grow her business in multiple states uh, with growing teams of people working with her as a nutritionist. And so again, She's been really helpful to me in terms of watching people as a guide, how you can grow your business, and she's done an amazing job at it. So what I thought is, uh, rather than her being a well-kept secret, I wanted to make sure uh, she could uh, give us all the benefit of her you know, many years of experience and wisdom. She doesn't look like she could have done many years, but she has. So she's done a, an amazing job growing her company, uh, and she's also been using the Fit Test as part of that. So we're very honored to be working with her as a partner in, that, in, that, in her operation. But as I said, she's been so successful at growing um, that, again, I thought it'd be great for all of us to hear some of the kind of tips and uh, tools of the trade that she's created that enable us to uh, grow the company. So, Paulina, without any further ado, um, let me hand you over, the owner and founder of 7.7 .7 Nutrition, uh, to kind of give us uh, some uh, you know, key lessons and learnings of how you introduce the fit test and how you grow your practice as well. So, Paulina, over to you. Thank you so much, James. And hello, everybody. Very nice to virtually meet you. And James, I really value what we are doing with your company. And I do consider you at this point a really good friend of mine. So thank you for the opportunity. It's an honor to be able to share the vision and, and uh, uh, what we've implemented in our practice and our clinics to share with the with the practitioners. So it's like-minded, like uh, just like us. So um, Today's topic of conversation will be is why is it so important to introduce food inflammation testing by KBMO Diagnostic to your practice, right? And before we start, I'll just briefly explain who we are as 7.7 .7 Nutrition, where we began, just so everyone can have a good idea of you don't have to start huge. You don't have to start with a with a big business loan of multi million dollars, right? You can start start small, and then little by little by little, you can escalate in a very flourishing practice. And thanks to KBMO Diagnostics, obviously, you guys were an amazing crew, uh, vital part of what um, what we have accomplished. So. 7.7 .7 .7 Nutrition is a registered dietitian office, and uh, we specialize in holistic nutrition and holistic sports nutrition. I have started my first practice 15 years ago in Tampa Bay, Florida, the city of champions. And uh, when I started, it was a tiny little office inside of Powerhouse Gym. Powerhouse Gym Athletic Club gave me an opportunity and welcomed me to their team to start servicing nutrition, um, offering nutrition services to their members. And from there on, we started moving more towards the medical direction and, and escalated into other services as well. Um, right now, 15 years later, we have still one office in Tampa stand, standing strong. And then from there on, I have transitioned to Michigan and we have opened five locations here in Michigan. Uh, we do have Chicago coming up hopefully in one month. That will be a big um, proud project that, that we're working on. So as of right now in 15 years, we have six locations and counting. So with that being said, James, you and I have been working together for eight years. And uh, you brought such a big, well, you, you gave such a big portion of what we do to our patients. And because of your laboratories, we have saved so many patients with your tests. So I'm going to just very briefly explain, you know, these are just some of our clients, real people, real results. Um, you see this guy in the middle did food inflammation test, immediately lost nine pounds. Um, those are not Photoshop. Those are 
all personal clients that I have worked with one on one physically. So great, very proud transformation transformations. And then you can see we have more and more and more, and we're counting. Okay. So um why should we introduce the food inflammation test to the patients, right? And I know, James, the, when we briefly chatted earlier, you have asked me who would be the perfect candidate for the food inflammation test in your practice. Everyone and anyone. And I don't know who who is watching us today, if you guys are practitioners, if you're personal trainers, if you're yoga instructors, acupuncturists, um, physical therapy centers, Every single It's like being so thrilled about winning a race that you forget to tie your Oh, so it doesn't matter what kind of practitioner you are, every single person and every single patient that walks to your doors will absolutely benefit from it. So um obviously in our practice, because we're dietitian office and we write custom diet plans, we offer <laughs> uh, professional grade supplementation. We do all kinds of blood, blood work for hormone testing. We do see all kinds of walks of life. The typical patient that I would consider that we would introduce this test for is definitely someone with gut health and digestive issues, right? That's, that's non-negotiable. Anyone with autoimmune conditions, right? Lupus, uh, Crohn's, colitis, um, diverticular, anything like that. Um, anyone who wants to stay forever young, right? That would be a perfect client. And then it doesn't matter if it's an adult or a child, every single person should really at least one time in their lifetime do this test. You can see on my presentation right here below, these are the typical symptoms that we can very much reverse or eliminate just by re removing the foods that can give us inflammation. Um, these two pictures you see here, this is my registered dietitian, Stacy. She's my clinical registered dietitian explaining the brochures of food inflammation testing. This is um, pictures from our West Bloomfield, Michigan office. So doesn't matter who comes into your office, everyone should be considered a perfect target for food information test introduction. Okay. And the reason why, it's right here. You can see it, right? Okay. The immune complex issues and inflammation that can be associated with foods are uh, underlying problems for all the conditions. So the answer is prevention even is better than cure, right? We can prevent, we can avoid, we can reverse, we can help every single person that comes into our office as long as we really put our mind to it and introduce this test right so if you introduce you get discovered just like with anything else and most of the patients that walk into your office um, they are looking for a solution but they don't know where to go so don't be afraid to offer it for them because most of the time they want this but if you don't tell them they won't know what you do and who you are, right? Just no different than let's say if you were, you could be the most amazing artist in the world. In the world, you could be Michelangelo, and you if, if you don't get discovered, what good does it do, right? So you need to make sure you get the discovered by introducing and explaining and showcasing this test to everyone that walks into your office. Okay. Um, very briefly, I'll tell you the reason why we have chosen to go with KBMO diagnostics and not other labs is simply because it's a much more comprehensive test. Obviously, we know that this test is testing for up to 176 foods, spices, um, yeast and fungus overgrowth, even alcohol. You know, our clients say, well, well, how do you test for alcohol? We'll say, well, let's take a look. If agave shows up, on your test, that means we should really avoid drinking tequila. If white potato shows up, you know, maybe you should avoid drinking vodka. If we have, let's say, hops, right, that's beer. So, you know, consider getting more creative with, with your clients. Don't just tell them, oh, we only test for foods. We also test for alcohol, right, because the alcohol is, is derives from those specific foods. We also test for spices. I tell all of my female clients that we also test for any additives that could be found in hand lotions or skincare or makeup, right? Um, and of course, energy drinks like Red Bulls that can have aspartame and pop and diet pop that can have aspartame. So it's a very comprehensive test. Um, we love the fact that this test 
does the, the full gut barrier panel. And I know that KBMO Diagnostics uh, has a patented technology. They're the only ones that can do this specific panel. Um, it's a really great eye opener for us to see whether a patient has candida and fungus overgrowth, uh, if it's a new growth or ongoing growth, if their microintestinal villi are broken down or separated, or if they ultimately have the actual leaky gut syndrome. Because from there on, we, we see the problem and now we know what's the next step for the solution. If we do not do this test on our clients, it's literally no different than throwing spaghetti on the wall and just trying to guess and see, you know, what sticks. Just by doing this test on your patients, you can save them time, you can save them um, money, right? Because you're saving them running around through different directions and doing all kinds of testings with multiple doctors where you can be their one-stop shop. OK, so that's really, you know, the number one reason why we love KBMO. High, co very comprehensive test with tons of different um, foods and items we're testing for and even more comprehensive gut barrier panel uh, profile that we can um, we can look into. Okay? I'm going to stop this for a second. I apologize, you guys. I don't even know where to start. Oh. So. Typically, this is how we do it in our office, because the goal is how to get more successful, right? The goal of this topic, how to get more successful, how to bring in more patients, how to attract more sales, um, because us as practitioners, we're not always born to be business people, right? Our job and duty and obligation is to help and uh, reverse the conditions for, for the patients. However, if you own your own practice, now you also have to wear multiple hats and now you have to understand, all right, being a doctor, being a personal trainer and servicing and working in the business is one hat that I'm wearing. But then also my second hat is working on the business. I own the business. I have to bring in the money. I have to make sure my staff gets paid. Um, we need to make sure that liability insurance is the medical director is the, the rent, right? Rent is due every day. So because of that, we as practitioners should have a different mindset. We should not be afraid of sales. We should not be afraid of really growing as business people. Just like we go for continuous education for our professional needs, we need to also invest into continuous education for our business need, uh, needs to learn how to become a stronger leader, how to become a stronger business owner. So that's really what my topic is all about today. So with that being said, this is how we do it in our practice. Every single client that comes into my office we offer a consultation. You, in your practice, depending on what kind of practitioner you are, you can decide whether you want to charge for a consultation or not. Um, if you charge insurance, if your service counts uh, covers under insurance for consultation, obviously you can do that. If you're a personal trainer or nutritionist or um, any kind of, let's say, yoga instructor that offers nutrition solutions in their, in their practice, I suggest you just offer a complimentary consultation. That's how we do it in, in our offices. Uh, we offer free consultations. It's kind of like a discovery hour. That's crazy to think a yoga instructor is like dealing with, you know, food. I'm so sorry. I only heard the half of the question. So anyway, let's move on. So um, it doesn't matter. I don't know what kind of practices uh, are watching me today, but the first and foremost essential, essential part is we need to, to run your uh, patient through a consultation. We call it the discovery hour. Within that discovery hour, we want to identify main bullet points. What is your goal? What have you been doing in the past? What have worked? What haven't? How long have you been struggling with this problem? And then from there on, we will see any kind of red flags, as we like to call them, that we need to check mark, and then collect all those red flags at the end of the presentation and really give them the final solution, okay? So because if a patient walks into the office and we don't, we don't ask them uh, all the deep questions, then we won't know how to help them, right? So we need to dig and find out, are you sleeping well? Are you pooping well? Do you have aches and pains? Do you have any medical conditions? How long have you uh, been diagnosed with autoimmune? When did you start losing your hair? When did the rash on your skin start happening, right? We have to be an investigator for that first hour because that's where it all starts. Um, from there on, 
it's very important that we, we explain, you as a practitioner explain the, what you do in the office. You know, they might think that you are a chiropractor and you, the patient will be coming in and out, right, for, for just an adjustment. But you can say, you know, we are a chiropractic clinic, but we're also practicing a holistic approach. And not only do we offer, let's say, professional grade supplements, but we're also now very proud providers of this food inflammation test that tests for 176 six foods and spices and you have to explain the whole shebang right because obviously inflammation is as we call it can be a silent killer and that's where it's usually where everything starts so you have to just create your spill and you have to create kind of like a two-minute elevator speech for each client to introduce yourself almost like a speed dating right you go out on a date it's like hi my name is Paulina. i'm from russia i came here 21 years ago this is what i do da, 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 da. it's the same exactly thing so because that's how you open up and the patient understands oh i had no idea they do the test oh i had no idea that can actually help me to sleep better oh i've been having diarrhea my whole life i had i really didn't even think this could be nutritionally related Make sure you introduce every single service. Don't assume that the patient knows that what you do, right? Um, so uh, from there on, we, uh, we figure out what the solution is. Because we are a registered dietitian office, we obviously tell them, let's work in steps. Step one, let's start with a food inflammation test. That will be a full blueprint of exactly where we need to be. Step two, let's work on your custom diet plan. We will write you a custom diet plan and then you'll come and see us once a week. And step three, depending on what the discovery shows through the food inflammation test, we will recommend you specific supplements or maybe some kind of uh, digestive gut health protocols or candida and fungus detox. So again, we're dietetics. You might be a different practice. You could be just a, um, could be family medicine, right, of the, any any kind of practice that you are, just figure out at the end what services you can help them with, okay? But the food inflammation testing should be really one of the number one steps that you offer because obviously it will cover all of the, you know, a list of, solu a list of issues. So um, let's say a client starts um, seeing us for a diet plan before they leave the office that day after the consultation. Let's say, James, you are my client. I did a discovery session uh, with you. I did not charge you for this session. I yeah. found out exactly what you need. From there on, I tell them, all right, James, let's do this. Step one, I want to do a food inflammation test on you. I will do it right now. It's important to tell them so there is urgency. I will I'll do it on you right now and I'll ship it out today. We overnight the test. Two weeks later, you come back to me to, to collect your results. Before the patient leaves, you need to make sure you put him on the schedule. You or your front desk, which we'll talk about training your staff in a second, because otherwise you'll be chasing them and you'll never get a hold of them. So I do the test on James the same day right? I collect the payment the same day. When James comes back to me to receive the results, that's when I spend around 20 to 30 minutes to, to go over it. And at the end of the results um, explanation, I recommend supplements and I recommend the actual, either some kind of detox or healing protocol. So that's where, again, the dietary changes will need to be happening. Basically, you need to send a client home with the actual uh, homework, okay? Um, the patient is investing a lot of money. The patient is excited to see the results. So you need to really almost, I always say this to my team, sell the sizzle, not the steak. Don't just say, all right, you, don't, you have a gluten intolerance and you also uh, cannot have corn. Avoid all corn. Have a great night. No, like you have to make sure you're just really elaborate for the, um, on that for them. You have to explain very much in detail. All right, James, so let's talk about corn. It looks like corn is your high reaction. With that being said, please write this down. This will be a part of your homework. You cannot have corn, popcorn, tortilla chips, uh, corn taco shells, and then most importantly, also watch for corn starches and all of your supplements. Like it, it, right? Makes sense what I'm saying. Like, don't just be very blunt and direct. Just explain it to a patient. 
think when you're explaining something of how that patient that's sitting in front of you in that chair is receiving that information. Because for you, it's easy. For you, it's obvious. But for a patient, they've, they've never done this before. They don't understand what this all means, or they might not think about it. Um, so it's, again, it's our duty and obligation to educate educate them. Or let's say if someone has a reaction for potatoes, just tell them, listen, so potatoes were a high reaction. Like how often do you eat potatoes? Keep on digging, right? Keep on discovering. And then you'll say, make sure you pay attention to mashed potatoes, pay attention to baked potato, French fries, potato chips. And then of course, of course, any alcoholic beverages like vodka that could be made out of potato. And then they're like, oh my God, I would never think about it. Thank you for telling me. If you didn't tell me, I would continue doing you know, all of the above. So again, don't assume, just elaborate. And they love it because again, it's a big investment. It's, you know, patients will be investing anywhere between 400 to $900 possibly per test, right? So we need to diligently do our job and explain it to them. And the more you explain it, the more they see that you care, the more you build the trust and report. And then the more, of course, they're going to be coming back for other services or, you know, purchasing more supplements. And that's how you keep as a business owner, your practice going. So now I'm going to play these three videos. These three videos were done with our clients that we actually just started working with KBMO. Uh, eight years ago, the girl in the pink top, her name is Geralise Fernandez. She was actually our very first patient we have introduced uh, the, the food inflammation test to. And we didn't even know how well we're going to do with this test in our pr uh, practice. We just tried it. James gave us a free product. If you remember it, James, you shipped me a free kit. And I did one kit on myself and I did one kit on this girl and she was a success. And from here on, now I looked at our PNL statements. What is it, James? We sell over half a million dollars, right? Of food inflammation testing in my practice per year. So uh, let's listen to Geralise. Her inflammation test uh, results were high results, cinnamon, coffee, and corn. Her biggest thing was, is that she would get really bloated all the time. And I literally had to force her to do this test. And she did not believe that this test would be a good solution for her because she was comparing it with Everly Well testing, which we all know is just a typical IgG uh, testing that's completely different from this test that we're offering. She, um, she had a IBS-like sy symptoms with extreme uncomfortable bloating. And she thought that it's always were eggs or egg whites because she used to make these muffins, egg white muffins. She's a nurse that's working night shifts and she would eat those muffins every night, but she would put cinnamon in those muffins, right? Who would have thought that it's actually the spices that's on in your food rather than the actual food itself that can give you inflammation. And then she would drink her coffee with cinnamon. She would put cinnamon in her oatmeal. So let's let's go ahead and play this so you guys can see a clear understanding of what happened. Instagram randomly one day. And my boyfriend and I were looking for more help regarding our nutrition to lose some weight and lose some fat. I've been a client here for three weeks since I started my diet. And since then, I have lost five and a half pounds, which is crazy because I could never drop my weight down. Um, I have lost two and a half inches on my bottom waistline, which is where women carry most of their fat all the time. And I also did an inflammation test about a week ago and got my results this week and found out that I am severely um, inflamed by cinnamon, which I put in my oatmeal every day. Coffee, highly inflamed by that. So I cannot drink anything that has coffee in it or caffeine. Um, and also corn, so that eliminates tacos. And um, that test really helped me narrow down my triggers. I've always suffered from inflammation and um, IBS um, symptoms. And now I can definitely incorporate that into my diet. And I'm looking forward to losing more weight and gaining more muscle. And thank you.
Um, so you guys are more than welcome to have these videos. If you want, I will be glad to share them with James. Um, you guys are more than welcome to use my name if you're just a new practice that's starting participating in, in working with James. You can say, hey, you know, we know this dietitian um, office and they started very small and they work with all kinds of people. We do actually have a great testimonial from them. It doesn't need to be from you, right? While you're building your portfolio, use my name. You know, sharing is caring. I'm very much very glad to to uh, to help. So perfect example. There is nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with this girl. It's just using the wrong spices, drinking the wrong drink, and then having corn as a reaction. She eliminated those and then actually came back to us um, a few years later and brought her uh, brought her family, brought her parents to re to test as well. And she was thrilled with how re how great of the results she had. Now she's a big advocate for, you know, understanding that we only should be consuming the, the foods that we, our blood blood does not reject. So there you go. That's Geralise. The next one is my 15-year-old Keenan, Keenan Cruz. Uh, he is uh, he's a young client who uh, was a football player. We worked with him when we worked with the D1 Division I uh, Performance Center. And don't be afraid to test the kids. That's essential. The younger, the better. And one trick that I do in our practice and I teach my staff and all of my nutritionists on the team to do is when we're performing the test, I I prefer that whoever is the, the person that's doing the consultation is the same person that's doing the test. I don't like to perform it and then give it to my, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't like to explain it and give it to my assistant. I like to continue the, uh, the, the, the report going, right? Building the relationship. So, because they already feel more comfortable with me. I don't want to stress them enough because someone will be poking their finger. I want to personally do it. When I do the actual test, right? I put on my gloves, I clean their finger, I poke their finger. While you're squeezing their blood, you guys have around five minutes to have a small talk with them. So, I mean, I don't talk about, oh, look, what's it's snowing in Michigan. I can't believe I moved from Florida. That's irrelevant, right? It's just waste of conversation. I prefer to get straight to the point and capitalize on these five minutes of of maybe an education or something that the patient can utilize uh, further on. So what I do is I ask them like, hey, do you have any kids? Or by the way, just so you know, uh, we also offer this kit, uh, this test to kids. If you know any kids that suffer from ADD, ADHD, concentration disorder, if you have any children that have rashes on their skin or digestive issues that they're suffering with or any um, athletic kids that play sports, bring them to us. I will test them because their performance will go up. Obviously, their health and wellness, their brain function will go up. And then they say, oh, my God, of course. I actually, I have four kids. I should bring my husband and my kids. I'll say, sure. As soon as we do the test, I will send you to my front desk, and they will put you on the schedule. We'll make sure we accommodate your whole family. Again, right away, that's five minutes of the conversation well invested. Right away, don't let them go until you put them on the schedule for the next appointment. Don't just say, sure, whenever are you ready you you go ahead and call me and tell me when your kids can come in no you got to keep them on the leash right you in control this is your practice they came to see you so right away and you have no time to waste right away say sure as soon as i do your test we'll put you on the schedule with you and your kids then kind of make it a flow like this so this way they have no choice right like okay okay let's do it so here's Keenan. he was an amazing client to work with one of my most favorites and here's his story get faster so I can get more prepared to play at the next level of play at football. And I came to 7.7, .7, not knowing really how to eat or what to eat or how to uh, really take care of myself and my diet. But Jessica and Paulina really taught me how to calculate my uh, diet, my nutrition. Um, and the, I took an inflammation test and it really showed me that I react highly to gluten, which I've been having my whole life, and I never knew that. And without them, I really wouldn't know really how to calculate my diet. Um, I really like how everything planned out here and how they really just helped everyone with a better life and how to take care of their bodies. So I would recommend you all to come here and help out and just help yourself because it's a really great place and great environment.
So just like that, this 15 year old is going to take this information for the rest of his life, right? We literally, he could develop other conditions if we, if he continued um, eating gluten. So now his performance is better, you know, obviously feeling better, looking better, all of the above. So start them early. Don't be afraid to, to, to ask, do you have any kids or do you know anyone actually that has, has issues with, again, any kind of list those conditions that could be appropriate for the conversation. And then this young gentleman, Michael, um, he ha was a perfect example of a leaky gut syndrome and candida overgrowth. I just noticed I misspelled the overgrowth. I spelled it wrong. I apologize. English is my fifth language. But here's a perfect example. The number one reason this guy came to us was sugar cravings and weight management. And both of those symptoms were gone just by changing his diet after he did the food inflammation test so here's the example uh, i've lost 25 pounds uh, my body just started moving ways i didn't remember it could uh, very fluid very like athletic like i haven't felt that way in a long time uh, i've been on this roller coaster weight loss where i would lose the same pounds that i would find the same pounds over and over and over uh, 230 was my barrier that i just i could never break and uh, as of today, I'm at 224. Uh, these are all like amazing benefits, but I would say the biggest benefit for me so far has been the cravings that I've lost. Um, not a sweet tooth, a sweet mouth. So I couldn't stop eating sweets all the time. Um, and now I can actually walk past the plate of cookies and not reach for them. Um, that's been the biggest benefit for me is being able to uh, eat right, eat healthy. And the most important part is it's sustainable. This is a way I can eat like this the rest of my life without feeling I, without uh, giving up anything that I like because I love the food and most importantly, I love the way it feels to uh, be in shape. So, See, there you go. Those are real, real testimonials. You can't make them up. We did not pay them to say that. These are just very grateful, very happy clients. Yeah. Okay. All, right. All right. Now let's talk about... Um, Let's talk about very briefly of what exactly to do with these consultations, right? So step one, you need to educate your patient on uh, the differences between the KVMO test and sensitivity test and your typical allergy test, right? Because if they don't know, they will think that you are one of those everly well um, everly well tests. So you guys need to be very, uh, very explanatory for that. The next thing is um, explain to them the reason you want to do this test, even if they don't have any reactions, is because prevention is better than cure, right? You want them to stay forever young. You want them to stay forever healthy. Um, so that's that. And then the very important part is always keep the visuals in stock. It looks like my screen is stalling. Can you guys see me or can you hear me? Or do I need to refresh my screen? No, you you were fine, Paulina. Okay, good. Okay, good, good. Because it yeah. says that she's not responding. Okay, so everything no, no, is fine. No, you're good. Yeah, everything is fine. Yep. Okay, wonderful. All right. So here's the big thing. Um, you have to keep the visuals in stock. If you guys don't have visuals, you won't be able to explain to your clients what is it that you offer, right? Because it's already hard enough for the patient to understand what exactly is that that you're doing um right because they have never heard this language before so you need to make sure you have your brochures kbmo will be very glad to supply you with 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 the with their brochures they ship them to us um make sure you have these actual kits in stock i like what we do with james is we ask him to send us let's say 20 kits that look just like that the actual square kits and we only use them on the shelves for the presentation right? Pretty much like a decor in our office. But then we also will ask James to send us, let's say, 500 of the of the uh, the blood, the, the paper panels, the 500 of the pokers, the 500 of the of the uh, sanitizing wipes. So but we use these so people can see it and they can recognize it on the shelves. OK, because if there is no inventory, then obviously, how do we explain or how do we even offer this test? So that's the first step. 
Then you also want to consider, again, I don't know what your practice is and how you run it, but you might want to consider running some promotions and specials. If you are a cash practice or if you do both insurance and um, out-of-pocket expense services, always run the, the, the promotions because obviously cover the, the services that can be covered by insurance, but then after that, you can have the add-ons. And to be respectful to clients' needs and finances, you can say, listen, we do have bundle packages and we do have value packs or money savers or whatever you want to call them. I like to call them value packs. Um, and then we have them printed. We have them at the front desk. We have them at every office. This way I can easily grab it and I can say, all right, James, let's take a look here. So there, this is the promotions that we have. So these are the typical ones that we run. If you buy two fit tests, you get $100 off. If you, you get $100 um, dollars off if you purchase it with other services let's say your personal trainer if you say listen if you purchase a 24 pack of personal training sessions with me i'll also give you a hundred dollar bundle hundred dollar off for the food inflammation test um if you let's say a clinic that runs iv therapy you can say listen with each meyer cocktail now we're offering a hundred dollars off or fifty dollars off uh, for for the food inflammation test, and you can do that test on them while they're already sitting down for an hour, hour and a half doing the IV therapy. You can just poke them and save them time. Twenty percent off Christmas specials. We tell all of our patients you can give your loved ones a gift of health. We actually offer complimentary gift wrapping. You know, we have fun with it. We get creative, and we have tons of clients that were purchasing food inflammation tests. For, for their families as, as, as a gift. Um, also, you guys don't forget to mention that they, we, they if you do accept HSA and FSA accounts, the health savings and flexible spendings accounts that you can cover this blood work test under that account as well, because a lot of uh, uh, people, especially the ones that work for corporate jobs, they, you know, they usually do have HSA and FSA. So they might be um, interested in redeeming that account for, for the food test. Um, referral programs, that's always, that's not new negotiable in our offices just say hey listen we have a program here if you refer a friend you get $50 gift card and you can use this what happened Uh, apologies for this, guys. Let me see if I can find um, Paulina. She seems to have just disappeared. Um, let me just call her. Did you miss me? Apparently. What do you think about that location? This one? Um. Okay, wonderful. I apologize, you guys. I lost you. Something is going on here. All right, share the screen. Let's do it again. Okay, KBMO. 
present. Let's get this party started. Okay, so I was probably talking to myself a little bit, but basically just make sure you you come up with uh, you come up with promos that's uh, particularly fitting your practice. Don't be afraid to lose a little bit because you will gain in the long run. You might lose hundred dollars today right? Because you gave them a discount, but because you, you helped James, James now going to bring Rashid, right? Because Rashid is going to bring Jamie and that's just how the ball is rolling. So just look at it as a long, uh, long, um, long picture. Okay. This right here is a very important part. A lot of practitioners, including our office are not internet savvy or not social media savvy. One thing we had to learn, and I had to make it a non-negotiable protocol for my business practice, is to start promoting and advertising on Instagram. Okay, you can see this is just me taking a picture of the test and then my social media girl is literally duplicating the same picture, but she's using it in different, you know, different designs and then we will we'll post it once a week. When you Charge post, said, well, I have to send when you post on Instagram or Facebook, you will be very surprised on how many people you can reach, right? Like you just need to post and educate and you can say, did you know that our practice offers a food inflammation testing? Did you know that this, this test can help you with rosacea and psoriasis and eczema? Just get creative, right? Did you know that if you don't sleep well or have anxiety, that could be uh, linked to gluten intolerance? Well, not only do we test for gluten, we also test for gliding and, and this and this and this. So you can make it like this. You'll be surprised. Just like here. Hello, I'd like to do the food inflammation test. Hi, there just wondering how much the food inflammation test cost is hi uh what's the name of the machine that you use for the food test and you engage with them and make sure you have either someone on your staff or your social media person that you hire that they need to reply to them within the first hour okay because that's that's when it's a hot sale before they start searching food inflammation companies near me, sensitivity testing, gluten intolerance testing. It's your client. They just message you. You guys need to jump on them like a highly trained canine dog, right? To, to answer right away. Every single person that came to us from Instagram, we were able to close the deal. And of course, to able to help them. Okay. And then my presentation is coming to the end. The biggest thing that I would we really like to implement on our team is to work as a team. It's extremely important to invest in your team. These are just some of my girls. These are just some of my staff members, our nutritionists, dietitians, assistants, um, HR managers uh, that run the office. So myself alone, I would not be able to obviously offer so many tests and myself alone, even though I work seven days a week, I would not be able to do all of this at once. So it's important that you hire staff, you treat them well, and you make sure that you really invest into them because they can be an extension of you. Right now we have 17 employees on the team. Every girl is very highly trained. Even if I got sick or like today, I am not in the office, right? I'm doing this presentation for James. If my clients want to come in and, and, and do the test, guess what? Show must go on. Just because Paulina is not there, James wants to get his test performed. And my assistant even my littlest 23 year old can do this test in five minutes. So it's up to us as business owners. It's our duty and obligation to train our staff to make it as a, as, as a, just a very strong machine, right? Your business needs to be that strong machine because I always say this, we're only as weak as our, we're only as strong as our weakest link. We should have no weak links on, on the team. Right. Every girl needs to know how to offer the test. Every girl needs to know the pricing on the test. Every girl needs to know um, on my team where the brochures are at. Um, so set up weekly team meetings. Obviously, I have six locations. I cannot be at all six locations at once. We do Zoom meetings. We share the screen. We share the videos. We overcome objections. We we do the Q&A sessions. Um, schedule educational appointments and attend seminars, like seminars like right now, the one that's, that um, James is doing, you know, get your team. If you feel like they need to get stronger in this department, bring them in or show them this recording. Um, 
set up a shadowing session. When I have a new hire, I make So everyone, looks like we lost her again. Let me just call in. So there must be something wrong with the internet in Michigan. Dropped off again. I know. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay, great. Excellent. So Pauline's just coming back on now. Apologies for that. I don't know what happens with her internet. And then we'll go through some of these questions. So we'll uh, we'll definitely go through the questions that we've got from people around reintroduction, uh, et cetera, et cetera, that we've got in here. So some thank you for your questions, everyone. Um, here comes Paulina now. Back in. Polina? I apologize, guys. I don't know what's going on. It looks like my internet is strong, but this is maybe that means that um, the internet wants to kick me out. I'm talking too much. So the moment I learned English, now you can't shut me up. That's what's happening. <laughs> All right. I'm almost done. I have one more slide, I promise. So basically, if your team makes a quota, offer them an incentive. I give them 5% bonus for the nutritionists, the ones that sell the tests. Um, and I do $300 or $600 bonuses for the month for our assistants. This way, our assistants are also excited to help with the testing and help to explain um, the testing if, if the nutritionist is at the other appointment or not in the office. So, right, that's important. Invest, invest, invest. Also, think of your business as a child, as your baby. I don't have any kids, uh, unfortunately, uh, but... I have six offices and those six offices are like my kids. You have to think of thinking just like growing your child. You have to think the same way of growing your business. You're putting all the money in your child. You're putting into their education. You're buying the, most exp the best computers for your child. You're buying the best you know, supply for school for their child, right? Everything goes to your child first and then the rest goes to you right? Your child always comes first. That's why you pay your staff first, right? Who always gets the, the paid the last, the business owners, right? So um, just think of your, just like you look at your child as pride and joy and an investment in the future, you have to look at your business as a pride and joy and the investment in the future. Absolutely. I know it's a silly correlation, but if you take it like this, trust me, you'll see the magic happening. If you treat your business as a business, it will pay you as a business. If you treat your business as a hobby, that's exactly what it will be, right? It will pay you as a hobby, a little hero there. It's like my mom selling t-shirts on eBay because she is bored and has nothing else to do. Obviously, you know, doesn't pay her much. So just we just have to change our mindset like that. Uh, but uh, the last thing is just really just to kind of recap everything, um, educate your client, right? When they come in for a consultation, tell them that you offer this test, show them the visuals, right? Laminated sheets of the foods that we test, send them home with the brochure of the test, um, staple your business card to that brochure. Tell them it's an urgency, like, hey, I can do your test right now if you want, and I'll send it out today. Uh, teach your staff of how to navigate, because if I did a consultation and I'm running behind and my next client is waiting for me, I will take my existing patient to the front desk and I'll say, Joanna, can you please ring up James? He's doing the 176 foods and he's doing the, the gut barrier panel. Please give him $100 off because he's also preparing for his wife. I will tell them and the girls know what to do. I shake their hand. James, looking forward to seeing you in two weeks. So excited to see what the findings will be. Have a great day. And I take the next client. So I don't need to spend another seven minutes ringing the client up because I trained my staff really well to do it. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free uh, reaching out to me. Take a picture or screenshot this information. This is my direct cell phone number. You can call or text me. Please follow us on Instagram. You can see how we promote KBMO Diagnostics on our Instagram um, 
check us out on on the website we are remodeling rebuilding our website so right now it's not my proudest you know moment of life but in two weeks it will be so we're showing off a lot of kbmo results and tests and things like that uh, i do offer business consultations uh, i do uh, run a consulting company for practitioners that are wanting to implement nutrition and supplements and food inflammation testing to to their um uh, practice i teach you how to do it how to do it efficiently basically duplicating the system that you know that worked for me and you know look in six locations we grew into multi-million dollar business so i'll be very proud of that all right i am shutting up now james do we have any questions we do paulina that was fantastic thank you so much sorry about the it issues going on there but um i've got a great one from aaron here paulina do you do reintroduction so when do you look to reintroduce the food and then in the same vein how often do people retest? So I guess it's reintroduction and retest. Uh, one from Aaron and one one there from Lucy as well. Yes, Aaron. So it all depends on two factors, the budget and finances for the client and also the symptoms and the severity of a condition. If I have someone that comes into me with, let's say, constipation and bloating, I tell them, listen, let's do this test at least one time and then we'll see how, you know, how we do after we do the test, we eliminate the uh, the foods that show up on the on the list. I put them on the supplementation that's proper according to the digestive protocol. If they start pooping well, if they have no more constipation, bloating is gone. If the finance... Um, we lost her again. Let me go through some of the questions anyway, and I'll, uh, I'll just get her back on. I don't know what's going on in Michigan. Um, Power is not not what it used to be there in the in the great state of Michigan by sound like. Um Let me make sure I get the um, I can get to the questions. Okay, I she's coming back on now. Um, I don't know what's else to share screen. There we go. I think she's coming back in now. I apologize. I hope this is the last time this is happening. <laughs> no problem. No yes. problem. Aaron, back to Aaron. So it depends on the severity of condition. If they feel amazing, most likely they, they will not want to get retested. They're like, I feel great. What's the point? If they feel halfway amazing, right? Typically it happens with autoimmune conditions. We'll say, let's retest. Let's see what happens. You know, my attorney, actually, I did it with him, him being an attorney. He was like, this is, excuse my language, bullshit. I can't believe beef showed up in my results. Do you understand how much I love beef? So we retested him. And guess what? Six months later, beef still was on his results. Nothing changed. So I had to spank him and tell him to just trust me blindly from here on. So, um, but again, finance is a big factor too. If they can afford it, absolutely retest it in six months. Polina, do you want to just bring up the slides? Because I think the uh, chat's attached to the slides so we can go through that. One of the other kind of questions as well was, um, you know, whether you, it looks like you've got a lot of offices, which are obviously brick and mortar ones, but people are also asking, you know, have you been, had any success with obviously online? You talked about, you know, some of the offers that, you know, offers you've, you've got going on there. Um, so we can, we can just chat about those two things as well. Yes. Half of our success in our practice actually comes from online. My nutrition is Jessica Graff runs full-time online uh, division, dipping her coffee in the, in the Sunshine State in Tampa Bay. And that's all she does. She just does consultations and she ships the kits. She keeps the kits in the inventory in her house or she will message our assistant in the office and then we ship the kits to them. So she's very heavy on social media. She does a lot of um, um, whatever those life life um events on on instagram she doesn't use facebook she uses instagram so absolutely it's no different just get discovered on instagram tell them you will do zoom consultation with them it's easier and better to do zoom rather than a phone call because with the zoom
blue, you can do the screen share and you can share the foods with tests and you can show what the, 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 uh, the kit looks like and you can show the testimonials. You can show the before and after pictures, you know, like I'll very quickly just get into my own personal, you know, Google Drive if I want. We keep yet organized with Google Drive. Um, is my program shutting down again? What's going on here? No, no it's showing a different picture. No, we're That's good. Fine. Maybe I'd rather not do That's this. Fine. I'm afraid to touch anything. So basically, yeah. I save all of my before and after testimonials on Google Drive, and I have a folder that says before and after, and I show them to my clients on Zoom. Hey, this is before Candida Detox. This is after Candida Detox. Yeah, it's no different. You just have to have your visuals able to showcase through the computer screen. The, the other one here from Sylvia, which I just want to make sure we do, clarify that. Does this offer apply to test kits purchased through Avexure or directly through KBR? So these are just examples that um, Paulina gives that she uses in her office. So that's not um, from KBM. That's when she when she's talking to her clients. These are some of the suggestions that they give them there. So just to kind of clarify that point there for Sylvia. Um, then what have we got here? Uh, do you only practice in office? We've done the virtual question there. Um, let me see. Um, do you run any other tests alongside the fit test? Another one there from Lucy. Yes, we run other tests, which are not the finger poke, but more of a phlebotomy testing in our offices. Um, we do MTHFR testing. We do lipoprotein testing. Um, and we also do the micronutrient testing. But food inflammation test from KBMO is our number one first test. That's the first step. So we test for the foods first, and then from there we can test for vitamins, minerals. Um, of course, we also can do any kind of hormonal panels, just like a typical, you know, panels you can do in your doctor's office, like your your annual, you know, blood work, CMP, uh, CBC, lipid panels, things like that. Yes, we do. Um, we use another lab that's called Spectra Cells. They don't know, do not do nothing with food inflammation testing. Spectra Cells only does um vitamins mthfr and lipoprotein testings so yes we 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 do that but those are not as popular because again it's what we consume that makes a big difference that's why we always start with kbmo that's great thanks paulina um lucy got another one um do we have anything about cross reactivity absolutely so that goes in with the um in terms of the app that the patients get there's a provider's guide that again will attach the, the, the updated provider's guide with the slides and the recording of this video. So people have got that as well. And I think the key on the cross reactive, I think Paulina did a great job and kind of emphasized that when she's going over the results or more importantly in that um, first hour consultation she does with them, she talks about some of those issues, if not quite cross reactive, similar in terms of opening patients up, patients' minds in terms of thinking about when it's corn, corn appears in so many different places that Paulina as a good nutritionist understands what those are and as she rightly points out, we take that for granted that everyone is aware of that. But again, that information is really helpful for patients in terms of getting that across to them uh, as part of those uh, that consultation as well. Um, I think that's it, Paulina. Any again, what do you think has been the kind of handful, say, first two or three things that have given have made you as successful as you are, as you are in terms of the key things that you've worked on? I mean, I would say it's got to be, I love the fact that that, that analogy of treating your business as, as, as your children, I think that's a great one. The education of your staff as well, I think that's critical in terms of, because as, as I mentioned to you before, lots of people are very successful with one practice, but to have six has been truly remarkable. So um, she's done a great job there. I think uh, she's obviously, her ears are burning and she doesn't like the praise, she's dropped off again. So uh, um, I want to thank her and hopefully she'll get a chance to watch the recording and how, how good this has been. Thank everyone for their questions. And uh, we'll look forward to uh, the next one of these we do in another couple of weeks time with Dr. Rob Silverman talking about the integration of not only the FIT test, but also um, our new CIT test, so the cardiovascular test and our gut barrier panel in terms of how that all kind of partners and, and works together. So I want to thank everyone again. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Uh, and we'll look forward to uh, tuning on the next one and we'll get this uh, these out hopefully in the next day or so. All right, thank you again. Thank you very much.